See this vulva? Vulva shot. Not sticking out at all. Tight. Privacy. She's still got a couple months to go. is getting closer so we're gonna fence off a, a section of the pasture that we can see from the house so that we can watch ladybug see what's going on and be there when she starts pushing that little calf out but I can't stop and talk because we must move Our goats, we had to run and turn the fence on. A couple of them are becoming escape goats. <laughs> and we do not want to encourage that. Thorin, our uh, oldest buck, he does not respect the fences like he should. So I had to run and make sure the fence was on so he can learn some respect. I don't get no respect. Calf Watch 2019 has begun. And Ladybug is up first. Uh, we bred Ladybug first, and uh, she will calf first, which is kind of nice because Ladybug is not a first time freshener. This is her, I wanna say it's gonna be her third calf, maybe her fourth, I might not remember correctly. So that means uh, there's less to worry about. It's the first time fresheners that Usually where things go wrong is with the first time. We've seen Ladybug calf. We were there for Luna. It went very smoothly. There, there was no intervention needed at all. And this time she's bred like with Luna uh, with a mini jersey as well. So it should be a very small size calf. No issues. We're looking forward to an, the, maybe the first just a low drama birth of the year. Hopefully. We'll see. Huh? Ah, yours was plenty of drama. You smiling. <laughs> you smiling, baby. It's actually been kind of nice, not yet. Oh, me. <laughs> He's talking to the dog. It's actually been kind of nice having the calf on the way. It's got me out of the house. I don't know if other mothers will relate to this, but after a baby, and the more I have, my hormones are in such a state of flux and sitting in the house, breastfeeding makes me sleepy, sitting in the house all day makes my body ache. It's a beautiful time of year, it's nice to be able to get out and it's nice to have a reason to push myself to get out. So I've been doing more walking outside, checking on this calf, that's made me feel a lot better and it's given me a lot more energy. Put me in a much better mood. I've been I've been baby wearing since we had our first. This time of year though it's so hot still. It's 80s today. 
and he's uncomfortable being on me. I'm uncomfortable with him. But I can lay his little baby wrap right on the ground there and he's stretching out. <laughs> Listening to all the farm animals. He's pretty, pretty comfortable. <laughs> Wondering if he might just fall asleep there. Moving his little toes. You want to either attach it to that end so it reaches or start it up at the top or see if this reaches on its own? We're going to have to move that down. It won't the, reach. Oh. So I got to turn it down softly. Okay. Okay. So we shouldn't have to move that top one. This will reach. Oh, uh, but the other one won't. Oh. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh, <laughs> sick of this hot weather. I know. I am so ready for fall. It's the bugs. I know. They're, they're like worse than they were. Yeah, I'm ready for flies to be gone. She's getting closer to calving and there's a few ways that I can tell this. She's starting to develop an udder. Doesn't mean she's going to calve today. You can see her udder's getting bigger. Her teats are still wrinkly though, so I know she's not going to calve imminently. Once her teats are really smooth, kind of sticking out, strutting, they'll even be dripping with milk, then I know she's really getting close to calving. When she stands up, she'll do a little stretch. She's got some mucus coming out. Her pins are loosening. And you can see her vulva is getting really, you can see it loose, kind of floppy. We'll do a side-by-side -side, her and Luna. Luna's is still tight, it's not floppy at all. These are all signs that her body's getting ready to calve. My guess is within the next week we'll have a baby. Guess in the comments below if you think it's gonna be a bull or a heifer calf and also what date it's born. I'm gonna guess a heifer. They, they say if, it's, if she has a calf early, it'll be a heifer. If they have it after the due date, it's usually a bull calf. We'll see how true that is. I want to tell when her due date is, but what her history is? Uh, I believe her due date is the 25th of this month. Last year she went about a week early. I'd have to check, a week to 10 days early. She won't have it today. That would be 10 days. But we're getting down. Countdown begins. Gotta get that milk room set up. Feed. Lots to do. Yep. Not not sticking out at all. Tight. Privacy. She's still got a couple months to go. If you want to learn more about cow pregnancies and how to deliver a calf properly, what could go wrong, what you should expect, Cody Creelman, Cow Vet, is coming on our show Monday night live with the Homesteady Pioneers. Click here to become a pioneer and you can join us live 
ask Cody questions, and watch the entire show afterward on demand in the Pioneers Only Library. Watch this video to learn more, and click here to become a pioneer.